Sure. Um, how have they not melted on that planet? <laughs> on which planet? Because there's two suns. They were. The one with two oh. suns. Oh, yeah. That's a good question. It depends on the distance they were from that sun and also mm-hmm. the length of time that they would get sunlight. So, I mean, honestly, oh, yeah. you're right, though. Well, like, involved. there's such a precise amount of, like, distance between us and our sun, it will blow your mind. There's actually mm-hmm. 64 different characteristics that is needed for a planet to have intelligent life on it. There's a great scientific article called Perfect Planet, which en- ended up becoming a book and ended up becoming a movie that describes why our planet is in the the perfect place for scientific discovery and higher learning. If your planet is anywhere else in the galaxy, it's too cloudy to see other stars. If your planet is too big, there's too much gravity for life to actually survive. And Mm -hmm. if your planet is not distanced like to a moon that is also distance to a sun at the right distance, then you can't actually get into theoretical gravitational like calculations. Like you can't see the from uh, you can't see the the right you can't observe the right things from an eclipse. Anyway, so all that. So the said, world that is the world, the universe that is Star Wars is near impossible to exist. Yes. It's just too many. I don't mm-hmm. know. Like. And also, I mean, think about it like well, this: if, if none of us know, well, yeah, statistically, <laughs> it's not, also, it's not possible. They, but do, do the two suns like set and rise at the same time? I can't uh, remember. Do they set and rise at the same like, time? They do they like go? Are they like at time. the same? Do they you move like Tatooine, down, right? up like this, or do they move like you? <laughs> yeah, you're talking about on Luke's planet, right? On Tatooine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so on Tatooine, I think they do set at the same time because there's night there. Remember, the droids run away at night. And he's like, we can't go out at night because of the sand people. So I think they, they're probably, I don't know, for some reason they're setting at the same time. Okay, so let's get back to, let's get back to Rogue One for a minute, okay? When they crash the ship, Sempi, what do you think about, you remember that scene where your mom was talking about where they take the hammerhead and they crash it into the battleship and it crashes into the other battleship and mm-hmm. then they crash it into the shield generator? I think yeah. that's one of the smartest things that I had seen. What did you think about that, Sempi? Um, I think it's as good as the two scenes in Avatar where Zuko and Azula go against each other and then Aang and um, the Fire Lord go against each other. Okay. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Mm-hmm. I, think, 